I have here two seemingly identical balls, and I'm going to use them to demonstrate elastic versus inelastic collisions. Elastic collisions conserve energy. So if you drop a, a ball, it hits and makes a collision with the surface, bounces back up, and if it comes back to the same height, that's what we call an elastic collision. Uh, an inelastic collision is one in which some of the energy is lost during the collision. And as you'll see with both of these balls, both will be inelastic because neither will conserve all the energy. So let's try this one first. Actually, I'm going to try this one first. Okay, so we know that it's an inelastic collision because the ball, having bounced from the surface, doesn't come quite back up to the same height that it started from, as you can see. This one uh, looks identical, has slightly different interior structure. Now that one is even more inelastic. A lot of energy is lost in that, in that collision. There's the transfer of, of kinetic energy into thermal energy. So this ball heats up a little bit uh, because of the materials inside that, that, that damp that energy down. The um, most extreme case of an inelastic collision is a perfectly inelastic collision. And that is one in which you drop the ball and it doesn't bounce at all all the energy is lost in the collision. So this is actually pretty close to a perfectly inelastic collision.